You've probably seen them everywhere. Those little squares filled with a chaotic mix of black and white patterns. QR codes are on menus, flyers, product packaging, and even on your TV screen during commercials. But have you ever wondered, what exactly is a QR code and how does it work? How does scanning it with your phone lead to a website, a video, or even a payment portal? Let's unravel the mystery behind these modern marvels of convenience. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. QR stands for Quick Response, and that name is no coincidence. QR codes are a type of two-dimensional barcode that can store information much more efficiently than traditional barcodes. Unlike a barcode, which is just a series of vertical lines, QR codes use a grid-like pattern to encode data in both horizontal and vertical directions. This allows them to hold hundreds of times more data than a typical barcode. Originally invented in 1994 by Denso Wave, a subsidiary of Toyota, QR codes were initially designed for tracking vehicle parts in manufacturing. Fast forward to today, and they've become a global tool for everything from marketing to mobile payments. A QR code might look like a random mess of pixels, but every part of it has a purpose. Here's a breakdown. Finder patterns. The three large squares in the corners of a QR code help your scanner locate and align the code, even if it's tilted or at an odd angle. Timing patterns. The lines of alternating black and white pixels between the finder patterns help the scanner measure the dimensions of the QR code. Alignment patterns. These smaller squares in the grid help the scanner read the code accurately, even if it's on a curved or uneven surface. Data modules. These are the tiny black and white squares that actually store the encoded information. Despite looking like a cryptic puzzle, a QR code is essentially a cleverly organized arrangement of data. When you point your phone's camera at a QR code, the scanner app, or built-in camera software, interprets the grid pattern. But what's happening behind the scenes? Detection. The scanner locates the finder patterns to understand the orientation of the code. Decoding. Once aligned, the scanner reads the timing and alignment patterns to determine the code's size and shape. Interpretation. The scanner deciphers the binary code stored in the data modules. This binary code is then translated into human-readable information, like a URL, text, or action. It all happens in seconds making the process feel almost magical. QR codes encode information in binary form, which is essentially a series of ones and zeros. Each black square represents a one, and each white square represents a zero. Together, these binary patterns hold the data. To give you an idea of how much they can store, a standard QR code can hold up to 4,296 alphanumeric characters, letters and numbers, about 7,000 digits of numeric data, binary data for other formats like images or small files. The data is compressed into these tiny squares using error correction, a feature that makes QR codes incredibly reliable. Even if part of the code is damaged or obscured, error correction algorithms can still recover the data. One of the standout features of QR codes is their robustness. This is thanks to error correction, which works by adding redundant data to the QR code. Depending on the level of error correction used, QR codes can still be read if up to 30% of the code is damaged or dirty. This makes them ideal for outdoor advertisements, receipts, and packaging. Basically, anywhere they might be exposed to wear and tear. The rise of smartphones turned QR codes into a digital powerhouse.
by 2017, phone cameras started integrating QR scanning capabilities directly into their software, eliminating the need for third-party apps. Then came 2020, and the pandemic skyrocketed QR code usage. Contactless payments, digital menus, and virtual check-ins all relied on these scannable squares. But their utility goes beyond convenience. QR codes are also versatile. They can store different types of data, including URLs, directing users to a website or app, text, displaying a message or instructions, contact information, sharing vCards for quick contact saving, payment links, facilitating transactions with just a scan. With technology evolving rapidly, you might wonder if QR codes will be replaced by something newer. However, their simplicity and versatility ensure they'll stick around for a while. Innovations like dynamic QR codes, which allow information to be updated without changing the code itself, are adding even more functionality. For example, businesses can now use QR codes for real-time updates. A restaurant menu QR code might link to an online menu that changes daily. Similarly, event organizers can use dynamic QR codes for tickets, which can be updated with new information or personalized for each user. Next time you scan a QR code, take a moment to appreciate the technology at work. What seems like a simple square is actually a sophisticated system designed to bridge the physical and digital worlds seamlessly. From its humble beginnings in a car factory to becoming a global symbol of connectivity, the QR code has truly earned its place in modern life. So, whether you're ordering takeout, accessing Wi-Fi, or checking in at an event, remember, those tiny squares are doing a lot more than meets the eye. They're proof that sometimes, the simplest designs pack the most punch. QR codes have transformed how we interact with the world, making it easier to access information, make payments, and connect with others. They might look like a random assortment of black and white squares, but beneath the surface lies a fascinating combination of engineering, math, and ingenuity. So the next time you encounter a QR code, don't just scan and go. Take a moment to marvel at the innovation behind this little box of possibilities. And who knows, maybe the future holds even more exciting uses for these magical grids. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.